All right, guys, welcome back to Chicago Cars Direct. Today we got something pretty amazing. This is a 2006 custom tailored Porsche Cayenne Turbo. If you know our company, we know Cayenne Turbos. This is a pretty unique one, and uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, under the hood, you're gonna find the familiar 4.5 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine. What makes this one particularly unique is that this is equipped from the factory with what's called the uh, turbo power package. It raises the horsepower from 450 to 500, so this is a 500 horsepower V8, but your torque goes from 456 foot-pounds to 516 foot-pounds. So you're talking about an absolute rocket ship. Uh, it's got some other really neat options on it, but that package alone, 20 grand. This car stickered somewhere in like the 135-ish vicinity. But uh, let's walk around it because there's a couple custom options, uh, but definitely one of a kind and a very unique and very, very good looking uh, Cayenne Turbo. This car really is excellent. Uh, this is the way it came to us. We haven't even put a, uh, a coat of polish on it yet. This is really how it was. Uh, it was a trade uh, towards a 2006 M5 that we had. Uh, very similarly uh, in uh, cosmetics, I guess, had similar rims and similar color. But regardless, we'll walk around this one. Uh, pretty unique. You've got a little surround for the uh, Xenons up here uh, on both sides. That kind of gives it a Batmobile look, I guess, at night. Uh, the signature grills, these are wide open on the turbo models. Uh, the S model and the V6 both have a slip through them, so you, that's how you can tell the turbo uh, difference cosmetically. Lower part there, you've got the quad fog lights in the TechArt lower spoiler. But, uh, you know, aside from... This blacked out badge, which, hey, take it or leave it. Um, and two stone chips uh, right up front here on the lower part. Uh, the car is really spectacular. Nothing really else to talk about. Uh, let's come around here again. You got the tinted uh, cornering lenses. But they have on here a 285-35 R22 uh, with a set of Toyo Proxxus tires on here, which are almost brand new. I would probably say better than 95% of the tread on there. Uh, as part of the turbo package, you get a huge set. I think these are like 14 and a half inch. Uh, rotors, I'll let you know right there, but they are nice and big, and you can see the red caliper that's indicative of the turbo as well, but uh, nice big wheel. Well, look at the driver's side, it's unique all the way down. You've got the blacked out trim, doesn't have any of the chrome that you get with the normal turbos, and obviously darkly tinted windows. I usually would take the tints off, but I don't know, I think this car is so unique uh, that I wanted to leave them on. Uh, you got the quad outlet, uh, this is the sport tailpipe, which is a four outlet there. But you can see it's been debadged. Uh, you've got the uh, pigment changed on here. These were dark, darkened. Uh, this is actually a pop-out rear view camera. Pops right out of the back of the car. Uh, but excellent condition. You can see the rear park sensors. By the way, front and rear park assist. I didn't say that before. Uh, but the passenger side's uniform all the way down. Those rims really are in spectacular shape. You've got to take note of that because uh, those can be an expensive fix and are usually a signature of how well this car's been cared for. In the rear here, you've got a height adjustable suspension. We're currently on the load level uh, of the five adjustments, so this is the lowest. Uh, obviously, you know, my six foot stature here, uh, I am probably a good uh, three quarters of a foot higher than the truck, so uh, it really does lower itself. Uh, but take a look, you've got fully carpeted everything in here, it's in super great condition. You can see the carpets look virtually brand new. Uh, easy load capacity, even the, the chrome plinth, as they call it here, uh, which usually is scraped up because, again, we know our Cayennes. Uh, it's right there. But you do have below here uh, a delete for the tire, the spare tire uh, delete option is part of the power package as well. Uh, you do have a tire inflator here as well as the compressor for the air suspension. And right here is actually the subwoofer for the incredible Bose sound system. And then right above that we have what I call the dog cage, which essentially, you can pop this up, keep your kid's cage back here, it doesn't matter, I don't care. And then your luggage cover just pulls up and over. And as we'll show you inside, awesome Alcantara suede headliner. Inside this Cayenne, the interior smells new. Uh, it's a pretty unique uh, color combination. You got the two-tone leather, and you can see a darker tan on top of a lighter tan. But again, being the turbo model, obviously you come with some pretty neat appointments. Uh, dual power seats with uh, driver's memory. But the step in again at access height, I actually fall down into this. But uh, the contrast floor mats with the Porsche lettering are in here, uh, as well as the power tilt and telescope carbon fiber steering wheel. You do have carbon fiber trim throughout the entire truck. Uh, automatic setting here for the Xenons. And if you look at the door, you can see the carbon fiber trim 
continues, as does the Bose Telltale badge there. Tells you you're in for a, a wonderful musical experience. Your first impression behind the wheel is a top-notch sport utility. I mean, it is a Porsche, there's no question there. Uh, you can see the leather stitching right up here. Everything is absolute top quality. The Touch Alcantara headliner uh, and this carbon fiber wheel, which you can see is multifunction. You got a bunch of customizable options as well as the uh, Tiptronic function on it. But again, power tilt and telescope. You can see you've got a unique gauge cluster here, nice and clean. I mean, that's always one of the things that's a Porsche hallmark is uh, good ergonomics and a uh, LCD display here that goes through a whole bunch of information on the car. Uh, looking at the center stack here, you've got heated seats for both of the front occupants, as well as below that, what they call PCM, which is Porsche Communications Management uh, with navigation. This does pair up to the Bose sound system, which you can control right through here. One thing you also have here is in the console, you have an iPod, connect, uh, an iPod adapter. So you really don't have uh, too many non-options in which to miss your music. <laughs> <sighs> Below that, dual zone automatic climate control, hit auto, set your temperature and forget it. Right here you're going to find a pair of carbon fiber oh shit handles. And then you're also going to find your six speed shifter here for the Cayenne automatic. Drop it right in drive. It's a uh, automatic like any other. Drop it to the left there, you go into the Tiptronic mode which you can use the uh, paddle shifters here. Two shift, plus or minus, or you can actually use the shifter. Forward up shift, down to downshift and then in reverse if you look on the screen here you'll actually see the uh, view from the camera pops right out shows us that uh, absolutely nothing's happening there and then this whole series of switches here you got your high and low range for the uh, four-wheel drive system it'll switch a transfer case into that as I said five stage air suspension you can actually raise pretty high up even though this has 22s on it uh, and then obviously the access height is nice and low Three suspension settings, you do have an air suspension that's adaptive and active. Comfort setting actually is pretty distinctly different from normal, which again is distinctly different from sport. Now these will somewhat change the characteristics of the car because the more firm the suspension, the more responsive the steering, uh, and the more the car communicates with you. So sport really is dedicated for more aggressive driving. The rear seat doesn't disappoint as well. Um, I mean obviously the accommodations are good enough for a six footer, there's not too many people out there that are much taller than I am. But uh, you've got the rear window side shades here, as well as four zone climate control. You've got the dual zone climate here for each of the rear passengers. All right, we're gonna get out on the highway, but using the Tiptronic here, I can actually manually go down to second gear, which is gonna get us into some boost. And since we have a little bit of room here, we'll roll right on, here we go. seemingly limitless thrust it just the momentum doesn't change and that actually throws you right back that's pretty amazing for a almost 6,000 pound sport utility vehicle that has all the amenities of uh, any luxury car out there but we can we're on the highway put it in comfort mode now we're just cruising you know, it's like uh, it's like any other luxury car you could be in, and you know it's got 22s on it. But with this adjustable suspension, it doesn't really feel a lot different than stock. Uh, unbelievable acceleration, though. I mean, just leaning in, I would say the turbochargers really start to spool up at about 1,800 RPMs, um, and beyond that, it just really just starts to pull you right back in your seat. A very rewarding driving experience, uh, even though this is a sport utility. It's still definitely a blast to drive. All right, again, I'm gonna use the Tiptronic here, but we have uh, what we love to do. Second gear, here we go. And blast off. <laughs>
thing's pretty sweet. And I mean, let's be honest, if you had to replicate this, I mean, you'd have to go buy a Cayenne Turbo and you'd actually have to do a little bit of this work yourself. But uh, Sport Aero Kit, I mean, the whole blackout theme is pretty amazing. I mean, nobody goes to this extent, so. Uh, if you've ever wanted to see a fully blacked out Cayenne Turbo, here you are. Uh, I've got a couple great pieces of information here. Uh, it does, I do have the uh, Carfax Vehicle History Report and also the Auto Check Vehicle History Report. Uh, squeaky, squeaky clean. Uh, obviously no uh, previous accident history or anything like that because that is a prerequisite for us. Um, you know, clean history obviously builds a little bit of value. Uh, I also have a copy of the vehicle build sheet from Porsche. Uh, options were trailer hitch without the ball. <laughs> Review camera with park assist, turbo power kit, 20 grand, man. Holy cow. XM satellite radio, uh, the sports tailpipes. Uh, this did come with a 19-inch wheel initially. Obviously, these are uh, a nice upgrade. Uh, power moonroof, light comfort package, and memory. Uh, sunscreen rear wind or rear side doors. Uh, thermally insulated glass, four-zone uh, air, four-zone climate. Three-spoke multifunction carbon fiber wheel, 1,600 bucks. Wow. Door and center handles, carbon, carbon fiber package, and then also the sport design package, which is most of the exterior. But check out just some really nice up close pictures of this thing on our website. You'll find us at chicagocarsdirect.com. And when you're done there, check out all of our other cool Cayenne turbos we've had. You'll find those at youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for having some fun with us. Give us a call if you've got any questions. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.